How's it going everybody? Welcome or welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to unlock the Yoroi Samurai Armor in Halo Infinite. Let's get into it. First and foremost, how do we get the Yoroi Samurai Armor Core? Well, actually it's pretty simple. You just have to participate in the Halo Infinite Fracture Tenrai events and complete the 30 ranks that lie within, similar to the normal battle pass or the premium battle pass. However, the Tenrai event pass is free, just like the previous winter season or holiday season event pass that we just had. To unlock the Yoroi armor, you only need to get to event pass level five, so that's super exciting. You'll have five remaining Halo Infinite Fracture Tenrai event trials to complete all 30 of the challenges or the event levels and unlock the Yoroi armor. The first Tenrai event is already over and it occurred during the beta period of Halo Infinite in late November. As of the day this video was created, the next five scheduled Tenrai events are as follows. Week 2 is January 4th to January 10th, which is 7 days from a Tuesday to a Monday. Week 3 is February 4th to February 7th, which is 4 days from Friday to Monday, nice weekend there. Week 4 is February 22nd to March 2nd, which is 10 days, Tuesday to the following week's Wednesday. Week 5 is March 19th to April 5th, which is 18 days, which is going to give us 3 weeks worth of challenges. And that's going to be a Saturday to a Tuesday. And then the final week, or the week 6, or 6th week, is April 19th to April 26th, which is 8 days. And that's going to be a Tuesday to the following week, Tuesday. Now, how does the Fracture Tenrai event work? work. So for each week during the Tenrai event, you'll receive a set of weekly challenges just like you normally would in Halo Infinite. However, during the Tenrai event period, you'll receive 10 event specific challenges. Each challenge completed results in a level towards the event pass. So if you complete five uh, event challenges, you will unlock five event levels, which would mean you have unlocked the Yoroi armor. So that's all, all you need to do is five challenges and you've got it. So Again, since the Yoroi armor is unlocked at event level 5, you'll most certainly be able to unlock the Yoroi armor within a single play session. It took me, I think, two hours, if that. It's probably maybe three at most. If you enjoyed the video so far, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below for me if you want to see more videos like this. Keep in mind, during the Fracture Tenrai event, Fiesta Slayer is going to be turned into Fracture Tenrai Fiesta. It will be the only form of Fiesta available during the event. The Tenrai event pass has been completely remodeled as compared to the first event week during the beta. 343 decided to add way more flair to it, thank god. And they removed a lot of the items from the store and put them into the battle pass. Again, thank god. There are now 5 coatings, 4 emblems, 4 XP boosts, 2 challenge swaps, and 1 backdrop, which is not including the major unlocks, which are as follows. The Yoroi Armor, of course. The Gatekeeper Shoulder Pads. The Dragon Bark Knee Pads. The Kabuto Helmet. The Dragon Bark Shoulder Pads. The Tempered Steel Visor. The Dragon Bark Hip Guards, which completes the Dragon Bark Armor set. The Jade Iron Chest Plate. The Yokai Legendary Helmet. The Spring Blossom Yokai Helmet Filter the Funeral Bell Stance, the Stag Helm Crest Helmet, and last but not least, the Swordsman's Belt. Keep in mind that any progress you make in the Tenrai Event Pass will carry over to the next event. Also something to note, if you have purchased the free HCS Winter Armor Coating, you can put that on the Yoroi Armor once you unlocked it. Alright, so there you have it, just a short little video for you to quickly understand how to unlock the Yoroi Armor and some info about the Fracture Tenrai events. If you enjoyed the video, invade the shit out of the comment section and tell me what you think of the new Tenrai event pass. Peace!